Our top story tonight, the first week in the trial of Christian Bahena Rivera is over. Rivera is accused of killing Molly Tibbetts in 2018. Now, three witnesses testified earlier today. Most of the testimony came from crime scene analysts describing the evidence in vivid detail. KWWL's Daniel Perot is now live in Davenport, and we do have a warning that some of these details might be upsetting to some of our viewers. Yeah, Abby, prosecutors laying out a pretty vivid detail exactly what they think happened to the University of Iowa student. They showed several images of her body in the cornfield. We won't be showing them to you, but several crime scene analysts for the state described what they saw when they approached it. They say it was under a bunch of corn stalks about 60 feet into a field. They found several articles of clothing, including a headband and underwear and shorts nearby. Today, DNA, though, took center stage in the afternoon. Police found bloodstains inside the trunk of Mahena Rivera's car on a football, fishing equipment, and rubber seal near the license plate. All the samples were tested, and state officials say they found a DNA match on the rubber seal. The screening tests indicated the presence of blood on those swabs, and the DNA profile that I developed matched the known DNA profile of Molly Tibbetts. The defense in the case that there was sworn deaths raising the possibility of a false confession. They played several clips of the 11 hour police interview with Bahena Rivera showing that he was sleeping, eating and on his phone. Now, we, now Bahena Rivera is said to be back here in court on Monday. His attorneys really went after Officer Carmelo Romero, the Iowa City uh, officer who interviewed him saying that her tactics were out of order and unprofessional. Now, all the jurors will be back here at 8.30 on Monday. In Davenport, Daniel Perot, D7 K W W L. Daniel, thank you. Now, prosecutors asked the judge to introduce some of the evidence that was thrown out before the trial, and that includes Rivera's directions to the body. Now, remember, police did not fully read him his Miranda rights. The judge did not allow it for, did not allow it for now, but says it might be relevant later on as the trial continues. A reminder, you can watch it on Court Television Live. Court TV is a KWWL sub-channel 7.4. Also on our website, kwwl.com, and on the KWWL Facebook page daily.